Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys two new awesome functions and those are called puts and gets. Now puts and gets are two awesome ways of A printing strings to the screen and B getting strings from the user. If you guys are like Bucky, we already have a way to get stuff and that's scanf. They can type crap into their keyboard. But if you remember, scanf has one huge problem and that's whenever it tries to scan in a string with a space it pretty much um, breaks our program for example if the bu if uh, the user tried to type in something like Bucky Roberts it would scan Bucky and it would view this little space right here is the end of the string so it wouldn't even read this last one this last name at all well in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a way to scan in strings incredibly easily that can have spaces in them as well so let's go ahead and make a couple uh, character arrays I'll just print out something like cat's name and make this equal to 50 or something so the goal of this program is it allows the user to enter a cat's name and also we'll say like a cat's I don't know food or something and it'll just print it out on the screen we'll say like cat's name eats cat's food now the last thing I want to do is I want to make a blank you know set this equal to 75 can't even talk when I'm typing I want to make a blank character array and this right here is where we're going to be storing the final result that we're going to print out on the screen. So pretty much the user is going to scan in a string for this and this and then we'll use the functions that we learned before to develop a new string. So in order to just print out a string on the screen we can use printf but uh, -uh. I got to tell you guys a new way and that's puts. Now in between puts it only takes one parameter and that's what's the cat's dumb name. Now another thing I want to mention is this. Whenever you use puts, unlike printf, it automatically adds a new line to the end of this. So you don't need to add one explicitly unless you want two new lines or in other words a space in between the next line. So again even though you can't see it there is a new line character there so this next function gets which is gonna act like scanf at least um, it's pretty much a scanf that you can use spaces with and the only parameter that this takes is where you want to store the string that you're scanning in so again if we just run this right now you guys are gonna see that this cursor is on the next line because that's how uh, puts works by default so we can just enter a name like hey because nothing it doesn't have any functionality right now so let's change that so right now whatever the user types in is stored in the character array or the string cat's name so for this next puts right here we can put on um, what does he eat now you can type anything you want and it's going to be stored in cat's food and that's all you have to do that's how simple it is um, so again like I said it's a lot easier than using printf with a bunch of different parameters or scanf for gits with like the ampersand and all that confusing crap so we basically have two um, uh, strings that we could use so how about we use one of those cool functions string cat and what this is going to do is tack on one string to the end of another. Now since this sentence is the final string that we're going to be using, let's go ahead and first tack on the cat's name to this. So after this line completes, this sentence is pretty much just going to be equal to the cat's name. We'll say it's Bucky. So after this we need some text in between and we'll just put loves to eat so after this line it says Bucky loves to eat and now we can just go ahead and add the name of the food which is cat's food and the last thing that we need to do is since we built the string piece by piece it started off blank and now it has three parts to it all we need to do is print it out on the screen and of course to print stuff out on the screen using this cool new function we use puts 
and the string that we want to print out is sentence. So let's see how this program works right now. So what's the cat's dumb name? Well, my cat's name is Pussy Mick Stanky. And again, I'm using a space in between here. Hit enter. What does he eat? Bagels. I'll just uh, make a simple string for that to show you guys that it can also take uh, simple strings without a space. Hit enter. Builds the string. And our final one is Pussy Mick Stanky loves to eat bagels. And indeed, he does. So again, puts prints a string out on the screen gets can get a string from the user and the cool thing is that that string can also have spaces and the string cat can build a string piece by piece by piece and print out the final one on the screen so pretty cool string functions and definitely a lot easier than using printf and scanf with a bunch of those optional parameters and ampersands and freaking weird stuff like that so for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll smell you guys later.